Hey, uh, shalom, uh, giving all praise unto you, Bashima, Shri, Bashima, Koha, Kodash. Uh, double honors unto the apostles of Great Millstone. And honors to your brothers that be pushing this truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. So I'm the Baba Ibadi, I'm coming out here to give you this truth for the grace and mercy of Yahweh, Bashima, Shri, Bashima, Koha, Kodash. And, um, this, this, this lesson is gonna be a, just a free flow lesson. I got a rough idea of a handful of precepts that I, I wanna go through. But the reality of the situation is I'm just free flowing. Uh, on the, on this particular topic, which is that this, um, expect things to get, you know, worse, right? Expect the, uh, the impact of all of the measures that was implemented last year to have a, a long lasting, uh, uh, shit sting, so to speak, on the economy and society at large. Because we do know the agenda of the elites, all right? We, we do know that there is a, a, a plan that these, uh, elite banking families are trying to, trying to uh, succeed in implementing. That's what they're trying to do. And in fact, the scripture talks about the craftiness of the wicked man. Um, Job 5 and 12. The Mosai, he disappointeth the devices that are crafty so that they cannot perform their enterprise. All right. Um, um, this deals with them being shrewd, right? This, this word crafty right here. So they go through all kind of crafty, crafty situations, man, to destroy you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, to try and take the birthright back. And I suppose when you go into the book of Genesis, the 25th chapter, that's a good place to start. And I think I might be doing that at the camp. This coming uh, camp on Friday might go into the lesson dealing with the Red Hebrew Edomite. You got camps out here trying to give salvation onto the Red Hebrew Edomite. And you no, know, we, we, we just ain't about that here at Great Millstone. Right? We don't we don't we, we don't preach that. That's off. Right? That's that's going hella off. But what you're gonna find out is um this red Hebrew Edomite, this 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 damn devil, the Mosai Yahabashim Al Shabashim Kohakodash is gonna remove him from the earth. Read the book of Obadiah, the first chapter where it mentions Edom Esau again. And it says that the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of uh, Esau shall be for stubble. We shall kindle in them, we shall burn them up. They go they, there's not gonna be any remaining of the house of Esau. And that's a beautiful thing when you think about it, man. That is a really beautiful thing when you think about it. Right? But that's another lesson for, for a different day. What we're speaking about here today is how that the Mosai Yahabah Shimei Al Shai is gonna intensify this um this uh this this um this heat. Right? The Mosai Yahabah Shimei Al Shai is gonna intensify the situations that you see out here that are uncomfortable. Now, for us the men of the Lord, this is the time to pray, man. This is the time to pray, right? To develop that connection with the Heavenly Father, Yahabah Shimei Al Shai. Hey, don't be don't be don't be uh, um surprised if the most high puts you in difficult situations only to deliver you so your faith could be built up built up for the end times man you might go through some real test like i said you know this is the passover i said that on the, on the previous video i've done just we're getting into the passover right but check it out you got a situation right now where brothers are going to be tested but that that deliverance for them tests that that could build your faith up well that's gonna build your faith not, not could but that's gonna build your faith up and we're gonna need a hell of a lot of faith in the times that are coming right now where situations are going to be very very trippy man very unpredictable very um you know you're going to need a lot of faith in what's known as the time of jacob's trouble so let's start here within the book of ecclesiastes the 12th chapter on the first verse and says now remember now the creator in the days of thy youth while the evil days come not so we're in bad times but this is not as as bad as it's going to get we're in bad times but this is not certainly not as bad as it's going to get right the hour of temptation is going to come up on the earth. Now, you've got camps out here, IUIC in particular, that are trying to teach that the time of Jacob's trouble is not within the scriptures, like it's not going to come. But it makes sense that it was going to be a time of great faith to be tested. That makes sense because the reward is about to be received. Now, if you've got a reward, like you're running a marathon and you've got the gold medal at the end of the race, what, what part of the race do you think is going to be the easiest? Or rather more, what part do you think is going to be the hardest? Of course, it stands to reason as you get closer to the middle, it's going to get tougher, especially when you're running a marathon. And the scripture likens this truth unto running a marathon. The, the Bible likens this truth unto running a marathon. And you better believe that last stretch, that last push, that's a because I've, I've, you know, I used to do a bit of track when I was younger. And it's always when you when you start to get to the last bit of that marathon, that's when you start to feel it. So we're supposed to remember the days, remember the creating the days of our youth right now before the evil days come off. And, and so we can set up a, a mental foundation within our minds that we could re rely on. When Yahweh was put in a position to be tested, because even Yahweh was tested, 
right? That's a that's an important point to remember. Yahweh Shai was tested. So if Yahweh Shai was tested, then it stands to reason that his servants, they was going to be tested. Satan himself came before Yahweh Shai and he tested him. So that means they was going to be all kind of spirits that's going to jump on brothers. You're going to have to rebuke them spirits in the name of Yahweh Shai. Shai. You might fuck up and put yourself in a you know, dodgy position or the most I might have you in a certain that's crazy. Situations play out that's crazy for your faith to be built up. And it's all good and well uh, uh, um, saying that now. But obviously when you're in a situation, it's going to be it's going to feel like hell. But you got to remember that there was a time that you was supposed to be putting the foundations in. And this is the time when you put the foundations in. When it's all good and well, you can get water and get food and go to the chicken store. And, you know, you can get liquor. This is the time when you remember the heavenly father, Yahweh Hashim Shai, man. Right? While the, the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened. Because remember, the ultimate, or you know, the penultimate scene of this movie that the Most High has created. Not the, the end of the film, so to speak, because there's, a, there's, <laughs> there's something that's coming after. The scripture talks about how that Jacob... Is the beginning of it that following after Esau rulership. So there's certainly something that we're going to receive after this. There's going to be a, a kingdom that we're going to rule after this. But the penultimate rule of Esau is going to be with the ICBM nuclear missiles. Read the book of Revelations, the 18th chapter. Read the book of what is it, Isaiah, the 34th chapter. My, my sword shall be bathed in Edom. And we go into that sword. It's the ICBM nuclear missiles of the Heavenly Father. They wrote it with the, within the wording that they had at the time. But how is a sword going to be bathed within heaven? Is, a, is, a, is, a, is, a, is there going to be some flying two-edged sword? No, no, no. That's going to be the, the, the ICBM UK missiles or the Heavenly Father coming from, from Russia, coming from uh, all of these different countries, man. And we know these these horns and these little horns nations, they're going to turn against the whore too. So Babylon's going to be burnt. The scriptures also speaks about the indignation of the Lord within the book of Isaiah, the 13th chapter. That also goes into the ICBMs, man. All right, I, um, Rep. Second Peter, the third chapter, talks about how Babylon was going to be melted. All the elements thereof shall melt with fervent heat. So we got a lot, lot, lot to see out here. But before this all comes upon the earth, get your foundations right because it's going to get a lot worse, man. It's going to get a lot worse as we're reading there. The sun's not going to give its light, right? The moon's going to be darkened. No, the clouds re return after the rain. What would you call that? That's that's called a nuclear winter for all intents and purposes. But it goes a little bit backwards here to go forward, but it goes backwards in time because the ICBMs, that's the end thing. But before that, you're going to have the um, time of Jacob's trouble, the hour of temptation, where Esau is going to have it to where Revelations, the 13th chapter, could be um, could be uh, uh, implemented. You're going to be in a desperate situation. Remember, the scripture says, no, there ain't going to be no work for the head of the tail. Your, your boss that's talking all kind of craziness to you, he ain't going to have no work. Right? He's talking madness right now because he could drive around and... You know, go to um, uh, was it Salt Salt Bay? <laughs> this restaurant, <laughs> they can do all of that, right? It was Turtle Bay, Salt Bay? I forget the, the restaurant it is where they was charging crazy prices. They can, they can go to the Michelin star restaurant, but the reality of the situation is this: that's all gonna be gone, right? Only the elite banking families are gonna have access to that. Unless you're part of the elite of Esau society, you're all going into captivity, man. One way or another, you're all going into slavery, man. You're gonna be work. You're gonna be. You're gonna be having your your carbon credits monitored. You're gonna be having your your water usage monitored. You're gonna have your uh, TV uh, 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 access monitored. They're gonna have what's known as the internet. Um, uh, what do they call it now? Internet. Well, internet censorship is gonna go into internet monitoring. Right, so you're gonna maybe maybe you're gonna be using the biometrics to access your laptop. You already got laptops right now and phones right now with the biometrics. So they're gonna say, okay, this is the this biometrics. It, it it lines up with this person. All right, they got their 15 minutes on the internet and they're gonna watch and monitor everything. That's what Esau is trying to establish within the earth. But in order to get to that position of desperacy, hey, you better believe these financial systems are gonna break up. Right, inflation right now is starting to go crazy. There's a reason for that. Groceries right now, just like how we've seen for the last two years, sometimes you get some things and you get used to buying that particular product and then you can't access it anymore. You better get used to that because this is the times that we're going into, man. Right? In the day in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble and a strong man shall buy themselves and the grinders shall cease. So that that, that week's work is gonna cease, man. You go into you waking up at seven o'clock in the morning, <laughs> having a shower with your link shower gel. Right, put a deodorant on. There's gonna come a time when you can't do that. Okay, there's gonna come a time where they, where they, they're in the, the morning rush hour. 
because there ain't going to be any work. This is what's coming into the earth. That's why I keep on saying, look, it's going to get worse out here. Right? It's going to get worse out here. But we, the men of the Lord, we know that the scripture says that the men of the Lord are going to eat in those times, man. We don't know how we're going to eat. We just know we're going to eat. The ground is shall cease because there are few. And those that look out the windows be darkened. And those, the doors shall be shut in the streets. And the sound of grinding is low. And he shall rise up at the voice of the bird. And the daughters of music shall be brought low. So that's the little video for tonight. Just some uh, a few things to think about, man. Right? Uh, um, concerning the impending doom. So with that, I'm going to say, oh, praise unto you. I'm going to say, oh, praise unto the apostles of great millstone. And honestly, brothers, they'll be pushing this truth in sincerity. Shalom.